All right, future librarians, prepare to become expert searchers. In this screencast, I'm going to talk to you about six different Boolean operators that you can use to make your searches more efficient. So the first Boolean operator that we're going to talk about is the AND operator. The AND operator brings two terms together, so it finds results that have both of the terms somewhere in the search result. So, AND you can use either the word AND or you can use the plus sign. So as you can see, all my results have zombie in them somewhere and AMC. So most of these results are about the Walking Dead television show. The next Boolean operator that I'm going to touch on is the OR operator. So this is going to bring more results back because it's going to find results that have either one search term or the other. So for this instance, we're going to search for candy or corn. And you can see here we go, one, the first result is about corn, the second result is about candy, but none of the results are really about candy corn together as a thing. Uh, next up we have not. Um, for some reason, not doesn't really work well in Google as a word. You have to use the hyphen sign. I can give you an example if I'm looking for mullet, not hair. I still get results about mullet haircuts and not about mullets that are fish. So, but if I put in bark minus dog, you can see that I get results about bark the thing that grows on trees search num search boolean operator number four is a phrase search so in order to conduct a phrase search what you do is you're going to put your entire all of your search terms together as a phrase in quotation marks so we are going to search for rock star librarians and you can see that all of my results have rock star librarians together as a phrase somewhere in the results. Rock star librarians. Boolean operator number five is in title. So this will bring me back results that have my search phrase all in the title of the website. So I'll type in all in title all together and we'll type Ron Paul Eyebrow and you can see that Ron Paul Eyebrow all comes up in the title of the websites that are brought back to me. The last and probably one of the coolest boolean operators is the site operator. So say I'm looking for information about dinosaurs but I really don't want information about dinosaurs, the TV show, or dinosaurs in the Bible, or dinosaur games. I'm really looking for educational information about dinosaurs. What I can do is type in site colon edu, and you notice that all of the results that I have gotten back are educational sites. They have the suffix edu attached to them, so they're sites that a school or university has produced. So use these Boolean operators wisely, future librarians.